that when historically when times are tough, game is hard to find, uh, people could always count on the horse ranch. I spent most of my life up here. <laughs> From Loon Cry Lake, which um, that's, that's a, a home in there, you know. Small little cabin, <laughs> got tent frames, stuff like that. But they got a mean cabin down the, down the ridge over. That's how that trail come up from up here, eh? Mm. Boy, Dad used to put us to work. <laughs> This was why I say, people always come up to spend their time up here in this month in August, you know. Mm. Yeah, they used this morning a lot from the lower post. Uh, so we've been working a number of years uh, to work with the government of British Columbia uh, to look at protective status uh, for the horse ranch range and we're going to continue with that work. We're making uh, substantial progress and our hope is that in the near future uh, we will protect the uh, horse ranch range and that we'll be protected under uh, CASCA uh, management authority working cooperatively uh, with the uh, government of Canada. And I remember as a child uh, going up there uh, with uh, the family members and we had uh, a number of dog packs and we'd go up there and we'd hunt groundhog, we'd hunt gopher, we'd hunt sheep and we'd hunt caribou and moose and uh, dry a lot of the meat up there and pick berries and then take the meat out, the dried meat and that would be something that would sustain us throughout the winter when we came back into the valleys. And I really look forward to the day that we can announce that uh, we have achieved uh, protection and uh, management of the horse ranch range.